Gerald Durrell. Gerald Malcolm Durrell, 7 January 1925, 30 January 1995, was a British naturalist, writer, keeper, conservationist, and television presenter. He founded the Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust and the Jersey Zoo on the Channel Island of Jersey in 1959. He wrote approximately 40 books, mainly about his life as an animal collector and enthusiast, the most famous being My Family and Other Animals, 1956. Those memoirs of his family's years living in Greece were adapted into two television series, My Family and Other Animals, 1987, and The Durrells, 2016-2019, and one television film, My Family and Other Animals, 2005. He was the youngest brother of novelist Lawrence Durrell. Early Life and Education Durrell was born in Jamshapur, Mayor Hand State, British India, on 7 January 1925. He was the fifth and youngest child and elder sister having died in infancy of Louis of Florence Dixie and Lawrence Samuel Durrell, both of whom were born in India of English and Irish descent. Durrell's father was a British engineer and, as was commonplace for a family of their status, the infant Durrell spent most of his time in the company of an Ayan nursemaid. Durrell reportedly recalled his first visit to a zoo in India and attributed his lifelong love of animals to that encounter. He studied at St. Joseph's School, North Point, Darjeeling. The family moved to Britain shortly before the death of his father in 1928 and settled in the Upper Norwood, Crystal Palace, area of South London. Durrell was enrolled in Wickwood School, but frequently stayed at home. Corfu, Corfu. Louisa Durrell moved to the Greek island of Corfu in 1935 with Leslie, Margaret, and Gerald, joining her eldest son Lawrence, who had arrived there with his wife Nancy about a week earlier. It was on Corfu that Durrell began to collect and keep the local fauna as pets. The family lived on Corfu until 1939, and this interval became the basis of Durrell's books, My Family and Other Animals, Birds, Beasts, and Relatives and The Garden of the Gods, plus a few short stories such as My Donkey Sally. The Corfu years also set the background for two TV series and one telephone. Durrell was homeschooled during this time by various private tutors, mostly friends of his brother Lawrence. Theodore Stephanides was a Greek-British doctor. He became Durrell's greatest friend and mentor, his ideas leaving a lasting impression on the young naturalist. Together, they examined Corfu's fauna, which Durrell housed in a variety of items including test tubes and bathtubs. Stephanide's daughter Alexia Mercury, 1927-2018, accompanied the two on their field trips. She stated that both families had hoped that she and Durrell would marry one day, but any such prospect was disrupted by the outbreak of war in 1939. Other people who influenced Durrell during his formative years were naturalists Charles Darwin, Alfred Russell Wallace, Jean Henry Faber, and Gilbert White. London and Whipsnade Zoo Durrell, his mother, his brother Leslie, and their Greek maid Maria Condos moved back to Britain in 1939 at the outbreak of the Second World War. It was difficult to find a job in the war and post-war years, especially for a homeschooled youth, but the enterprising Durrell worked as a helper at an aquarium and pet store. Some of the difficulties that he faced in this period can be found in Fillace of Place. His call up for the war came in 1943, but he was exempted from military duty on medical grounds and asked to serve the war effort by working on a farm. After the war, Durrell joined Whipsnade Zoo as a junior or student keeper. This move fulfilled a lifelong dream Durrell claims in the stationary arc that the first word that he could enunciate with any clarity was zoo. Beasts in my belfry recalls events of this period. Early Animal Expeditions Durrell left Whipsnade Zoo in May 1946 in order to join wildlife collecting expeditions, but was denied a place in the voyages due to his lack of experience. His wildlife expeditions began with a 1947 trip to the British Cameroons, now part of Cameroon, with ornithologist John Eland, 
financed by a £3,000 inheritance from his father on turning 21. The animals that he brought back were sold to London Zoo, Chester Zoo, Paynton Zoo, Bristol Zoo, and Bellevue Zoological Gardens. He followed this expedition with two others, accompanied by fellow whipsnades, the keeper Ken Smith, a repeat trip to the British Cameroon in 1949, and a trip to British Guiana, now Guyana, in 1950. On the first of these trips, he met the fawn of Baffet Achirim by Roman II, an autocratic West African chieftain who helped him organize future missions. Farrell housed and fed his captives with the best supplies obtainable, not trapping animals having merely show value or those which would fetch high prices from collectors. These practices differed from those of other animal collecting expeditions of the time, and he was in financial straits by the end of his third expedition. Further, he had a falling out with George Canstale, superintendent of the London Zoo, and Durrell was blackballed by the British zoo community and could not secure a job in most zoos. He eventually secured a job at the aquarium at Bellevue Zoo in Manchester, where he remained for some time. Thurrell started writing humorous autobiographical accounts to raise money with encouragement and assistance from Jack I and advice from his brother Lawrence. He did this initially because he and Jack I were in need of money after their wedding, and he had no source of income, and later he wrote in order to fund his expeditions and conservation efforts. His first book, The Overloaded Ark, was a huge success, causing him to follow up with other such accounts. He only made fifty pounds from British rights Faber and Faber, but he obtained five hundred pounds from the United States, writes Viking Press for the book, and thus managed to raise money for a fourth expedition to South America in 1954. This, however, was undertaken during a political coup d'etat in Paraguay, and was unsuccessful. Foundations for the Jersey Zoo the publication of My Family and Other Animals in 1956 made Burrell a notable author and brought him public recognition as a naturalist. Royalties from this book, which made bestseller lists in the United Kingdom, helped to fund Durrell's next expedition. Burrell's growing disillusionment with the way zoos of the time were run and his belief that they should primarily act as reserves and regenerators of endangered species made him contemplate founding his own zoo. His 1957 trip to Cameroon for the third and last time was primarily to collect animals which would form the core collection of his own zoo. This expedition was also filmed, it being Durrell's first experiment with making a cinematographic record of his work with animals. The success of the film to Baffet with Beagles, together with his autobiographical radio program Encounters with Animals, made Durrell a regular with the BBC Natural History Unit for decades to come, as well as generating funds for his conservation projects. On his return from Baffert, Durrell and wife Jacka stayed with his sister Margaret at her boarding house in the seaside resort of Bournemouth. His animals were housed in her gardens and garage on a temporary basis, while Durrell sought prospective sites for a zoo. To his dismay, both Bournemouth and pool municipalities turned down his suggestion for a zoo. This experience provided material for his book A Zoo in My Luggage. Zoo and the Trust Durrell founded the Jersey Zoological Park in 1959 to house his growing collection of animals. The site for the zoo, a 17th century manor house, Les Augers Manor, came to Durrell's notice by chance after a long and unsuccessful search for a suitable site. Thurrell leased the manor and set up his zoo on the redesigned manor grounds. In the same year, Durrell undertook another, more successful expedition to South America to collect endangered species. The zoo was opened to the public in 1959, on 26 March. As the zoo grew in size, so did the number of projects undertaken to save threatened wildlife in other parts of the world. Durrell was instrumental in founding the Jersey Wildlife Preservation Trust, now Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust, on 6 July 1963 to cope with the increasingly difficult challenges of zoo wildlife and habitat management. The Trust opened an international wing, the Wildlife Preservation Trust International, in the United States in 1971, 
to aid international conservation efforts in a better fashion. That year, the trust bought out Les Augers Manor from its owner, Major Hugh Fraser, giving the zoo a permanent home. Thorell's initiative caused the fauna and Flora Preservation Society to start the World Conference on Breeding Endangered Species in Captivity as an aid to their survival in 1972 at Jersey, today one of the most prestigious conferences in the field. 1972 also saw Princess and becoming a patron of the Trust, an action which brought the Trust into media limelight and helped raise funds. In 1970 saw Jersey Wildlife Preservation Trust become a leading zoo in the field of captive breeding, championing the cause among species like the lowland gorilla and various Mauritian fauna. Thurrell visited Mauritius several times and coordinated large-scale conservation efforts in Mauritius with conservationist Carl Jones involving captive breeding programs for native birds and reptiles, ecological recovery of Round Island, this ultimately led to the founding of the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation in 1984. Jack I. Durrell separated from and then divorced Durrell in 1979, citing his increasing work pressure, associated alcoholism, and mounting stress as causes. Durrell met his second wife, Lima George Durrell, in 1977 when he lectured at Duke University, where she was studying for a Ph.D. in animal communication. In 1978, a year after they first met, Durrell wrote a love letter to his future wife. They married in 1979. She co-authored a number of books with him, including The Amateur Naturalist, and became the honorary director of the Trust after his death. In 1978, Durrell started the training center for conservationists at the zoo or the mini-university in his words. As of 2005, over a thousand biologists, naturalists, zoo veterinarians, and zoo architects from 104 countries have attended the International Training Center. Thurell was also instrumental in forming the Captive Breeding Specialist Group of the World Conservation Union in 1982. Thurell founded Wildlife Preservation Trust Canada, now Wildlife Preservation Canada, in 1985. The official appeal, Saving Animals from Extinction, was launched in 1991, at a time when British zoos were not faring well and London Zoo was in danger of closing down. In 1989, Durrell and his wife, along with David Attenborough and cricketer David Gower, helped launch the World Land Trust, then the World Wide Land Conservation Trust. The initial goal of the trust was to purchase rainforest land in Belize as part of the program for Belize. Around this time, Gerald Durrell developed a friendship with Charles Recroft, who became an important donor of funds both for building works in Jersey the Harcroft Lecture Theatre and for conservation work in East Africa, Madagascar, and elsewhere. 1990 saw the Trust establish a conservation program in Madagascar along the lines of the Mauritius program. Durrell visited Madagascar in 1990 to start captive breeding of a number of endemic species like the I.I. Durrell chose the dodo, the flightless bird of Mauritius, that was hunted to extinction in the 17th century, as the logo for both the Jersey Zoo and the Trust. The children's chapter of the Trust is called the Dodo Club. Following his death, the Jersey Wildlife Preservation Trust was renamed the Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust at the 40th anniversary of the zoo on 26 March 1999. The Wildlife Preservation Trust International also changed its name to Wildlife Trust in 2000 and adopted the logo of the Black Tamarin. In a zoo in my luggage 1957, Durrell wrote, To me the extirpation of an animal species is a criminal offense, just as the destruction of something else that we cannot recreate or replace, such as a Rembrandt or the Acropolis, would be. Personal Life On 26 February 1951, Durrell married Manchester resident Jacqueline Jack Isania Wolfenden after a lengthy courtship. They eloped when she was 21, because of opposition from her father. The couple initially lived in a small bedsitter in Durrell's sister Margaret's Bournemouth boarding house. Jack I accompanied him on most of his following animal expeditions and helped found and manage the Jersey Zoo. She also authored two humorous, 
best-selling memoirs on the lines of Durrell's books in order to raise money for conservation efforts. They separated and then divorced in 1979, citing the pressure of his work and his alcoholism. In 1979, Gerald married American Lima George Wilson, who met him when he gave a lecture at Duke University in North Carolina in 1977, where she was a doctoral student. He was 52, and she was 28 years old. Both were enthusiastic naturalists. They remained married until his death. Death A hard, outdoor life led Durrell to health problems in the 1980s. He underwent hip replacement surgery in a bid to counter arthritis, but he also suffered from alcohol-related liver problems. His health deteriorated rapidly after the 1990 Madagascar trip. Durrell had a liver transplant in King's College Hospital on 28 March 1994, and he died of septicemia on 30 January 1995, shortly after his 70th birthday in Jersey General Hospital. His ashes are buried in Jersey Zoo, under a memorial plaque bearing a quote by William Beebe, The beauty and genius of a work of art may be reconceived, though its first material expression be destroyed, a vanished harmony may yet again inspire the composer, but when the last individual of a race of living beings breathes no more, another heaven and another earth must pass before such a one can be again. The Bird, 1906-1906 A memorial celebrating Durrell's life and work was held at the Natural History Museum in London on 28 June 1995. Participants included personal friends such as David Attenborough, and Princess Anne. Policy for Zoos Gerald Durrell was ahead of his time when he postulated the role that a 20th century zoo should play, primarily in stationary art. His idea relies on the following bases. The primary purpose of a zoo should be to act as a reserve of critically endangered species which need captive breeding in order to survive. They can serve the secondary purposes of educating people, about wildlife and natural history, and of educating biologists about the animals' habits. Zoos should not be run for the purposes of entertainment only, and non-threatened species should be reintroduced into their natural habitats. An animal should be present in the zoo only as a last resort, when all efforts to save it in the wild have failed. Ferrell's ideas about housing zoo animals also bring his priorities to the fore. The bases on which enclosures at Jersey are built. Enclosures should be built keeping in mind, firstly, the comfort of the animal, including a private shelter, secondly, for the convenience of the animal keeper, and finally, for the viewing comfort of visitors. The size of an enclosure should depend on how large their territories might be. The companions of an animal should reflect not only ecological niche and biogeographic concerns, but its social abilities as well how well it gets on with other members of its species and other species. Every animal deserves food of its choice, sometimes made interesting by variation, and a mate of its choice, and a nice and interesting environment. Durrell Wildlife Park was the first zoo to house only endangered breeding species, and has been one of the pioneers in the field of captive breeding. The International Training Center and the organization of the Conference on Captive Breeding are also notable first. Farrell initially faced stiff opposition and criticism from some members of the zoo community when he introduced the idea of captive breeding and was only vindicated after successfully breeding a wide range of species. One of the most active opposition members was George Canstale, superintendent of the London Zoo and Zoological Society of London, and wielder of considerable influence in the zoo community. Books Durrell's books have a wry, loose style which pokes fun at himself as well as those around him. Perhaps his best-known work is My Family and Other Animals, 1956, which tells of his idyllic childhood on Corfu and was made into two TV series and one film. It is deprecating about the whole family, especially elder brother Lawrence, who became a famous novelist. Despite Durrell's jokes at Larry's expense, the two were close friends all their lives. Durrell always insisted that he wrote for royalties to help the cause of environmental stewardship, not out of an inherent love for writing. 
He describes himself as a writer in comparison to his brother Lawrence. The subtle difference between us is that he loves writing and I don't. To me it's simply a way to make money which enables me to do my animal work, nothing more. Durrell was a regular contributor to magazines on both sides of the Atlantic, including Harper's Atlantic Monthly and the Sunday Times Supplement. He was also a regular book reviewer for the New York Times. A number of excerpts and stories from his books were used by Octopus Books and Reader's Digest Publishing, including in the Reader's Digest Condensed Books. His works have been translated into 31 languages and made into TV serials and feature films. He has large followings in Northern and Eastern Europe, Russia, Israel, and various Commonwealth countries, including India. The British Library houses a collection of Durrell's books as part of the Lawrence Durrell Collection. Illustrators Durrell was a talented artist and caricaturist, but worked with numerous illustrators over the years, starting with Sabine Bohr for the overloaded arc published by Faber and Faber. Two of his most productive collaborations were with Ralph Thompson Baffet Beagles, three singles to Adventure, The New Noah, The Drunken Forest, Encounters with Animals, A Zoo in My Luggage, The Whispering Land, Menagerie Manor published by Rupert Hart Davis and Edward Mortelman's Catch Me a Colobus, Beasts in My Belfry, Golden Bats and Pink Pink. The illustrations are mostly sketches of animal subjects. Ralph Thompson visited the Jersey Zoological Park during the sketching period for Menagerie Manor. Other illustrators who worked with Durrell were Barry L. Driscoll, who illustrated Two in the Bush, Pat Marriott, who illustrated Look at Zoos, and Anique Van Ottrop, who illustrated The Talking Parcel and Donkey Rustlers. Durrell wrote a number of lavishly illustrated children's books in his later years. Graham Percy was the illustrator for The Fantastic Flying Journey and The Fantastic Dinosaur Adventure. Toby the Tortoise and Keeper were illustrated by Keith West. His puppy board books were illustrated by Cliff Wright. Honors and Legacy Species and Homages Salanoia dorelli, a carnivoran species related to the brown-tailed mongoose, from Lake Aleatra, Madagascar, 2010. Centraline Durlorum, a glass frog of the family Centralnidae from the eastern Andean foothills of Ecuador, discovered in 2002 and described in 2005. This frog was named in honor of Gerald Durrell and his wife Lee Durrell for their contributions to the conservation of global biodiversity. Clarkea Durrelli, a fossil brachiopod of the order Atropida, from the Upper Silurian Age, discovered 1982, there is presently no reference to indicate that this species was named in honor of Gerald Durrell. Nactus Serpensinsula Durrellorum, the round island race of the serpent island gecko, is a distinct subspecies and was named after both Gerald and Lee Durrell for their contribution to saving the gecko and round island fauna in general. Mauritius released a stamp depicting the race. Salenthelfusa dorelli, Dorel's freshwater crab, a critically rare new species of Sri Lankan freshwater crab. Anthophilus dorelli, Don tadpole goby, a new species of tadpole goby discovered in 2004. Kachivnik dorelli yakovlev, a new species of moth of the superfamily Cassoidea from Russia. Cassoidea from Russia. From Russia. Mahia dorelli came in 2005 a new species of shield bug of the family Acanthosomatidae from Madagascar. Major Expeditions Radio and Filmography Featuring the subject Encounters with Animals Radio Series BBC 1957 To Baffet with Beagles TV Series BBC 1958 Look Argentinian Expedition Single Episode in TV Series BBC 1961, Sue Packet TV series, BBC 1961, Animal Magic, early episodes in TV series, BBC 1962-1983, Two in the Bush TV series, BBC 1963, Catch Me a Colobus TV series, BBC 1966, The Garden of the Gods TV series, BBC 1967, 
The Stationary Arc TV series, Prime Media Canada slash Channel 4 UK 1975, Animals Are My Life, episode in the TV series, The World About Us, BBC 1978, Arc on the Move, TV series, Prime Media Canada slash Channel 4 UK 1982, 82, The Amateur Naturalist, TV series, CBC slash Channel 4 UK 1983, Ourselves and Other Animals TV series, Primetime Television and Harcourt Films 1987, Pharrell in Russia, TV series, Channel 4 UK 1986, Pharrell's Ark, Documentary, BBC 1988, A Day at the Zoo with Philip Schofield, one hour episode featuring Darrell, and Jersey Zoo 1989, 89, 1989, Durrell and Other Animals TV Documentary with David Attenborough, BBC UK 1995, Gerald Durrell Himself and Other Animals Documentary, Green Umbrella Productions 1999, Gerald Durrell Jambo the Gentle Giant, Documentary Green Umbrella Productions 1999, Gerald Durrell to the Island of the I.I., Documentary Green Umbrella Productions 1999. Safe Hands in a Wild World, Documentary, Green Umbrella Productions, 1999. Inside Jersey Zoo, Re-Release, UK PC Advisor Magazine, 2001. The Round Island Project, Re-Release, UK PC Advisor Magazine, 2001. The Mauritius Conservation Mission, Re-Release, UK PC Advisor Magazine, 2001. My Family and Other Animals Radio Play, BBC Radio 4, 2010. On the subject, a memorial celebration for the life of Gerald Durrell, 1995. World of Animals episode on Gerald Durrell and Jersey Zoo, Channel 1, Moscow, 2004. The Wildlife of Gerald Durrell, BBC 4, December 2005. Wildlife in a War Zone. Using archival Durrell footage and examining the changes brought about by war in Sierra Leone Animal Planet, May 2006. Archive Hour with Bridget Nichols. Discover Your Inner Durrell. BBC Radio 4, September 2006. Fierce Creatures, a 1997 comedic film about a zoo in peril of being closed, written by John Cleese, starring Cleese, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Klein and Michael Palin is dedicated to Gerald Durrell and British humorist Peter Cook in the closing credits, with their photographs and dates of birth and death. Movies The Talking Parcel, animated movie, directed by Brian Cosgrove, Cosgrove Hall 1979. My Family and Other Animals, 10-episode TV series, BBC 1987. My Family and Other Animals, Radio Drama, BBC Radio 4, 2001, 2001. The Fantastic Flying Journey, animated TV series, directed by Catherine Robbins and John Coates. Two Sides TV slash TV, Luland, 2001, 2001, 2001. My Family and Other Animals, the film version of his autobiography as a child, 2005. The Durrells, four-season TV series, 26 episodes, inspired by Durrells, three autobiographical books about his family's time on Corfu, ITV 2016-2019. Screenplays Tark of the Otter movie, directed by David Cobham, 1979. Time Capsule A time capsule buried at Jersey Zoo in 1988 contains the following popular quote by Durrell, often used in conservation awareness campaigns.